everybody, Bane here with GameHolio.com. Today we're doing a speedrun of level 6 of Alachine's Gun. This level is a little bit trickier than the previous ones we've done because it has a whole lot of guards that are on edge. A uh, precursor to this level is knowing that you cannot enter this level, well, successfully or easily if you have a sniper rifle or machine gun on your back. If you have any weapons that are exposed, these guys start to freak out, and they don't just get suspicious, they go immediately to full circle, alerted, and they will open fire on you every time. Every time. And that is speaking from experience. So, you want to make sure that you stick to small arms like suppressed pistols, your Walther PPK, stuff like that. Um, I'm also carrying the hunting knife, or combat knife, I don't remember what they call it. And then I'm carrying my garrote, as usual, chloroform, and I did equip the poison. I always try to enter levels that I'm not that familiar with, with a bottle of poison, just in case you can kill somebody with it. Once this guard puts his cigarette out, we're going to sneak right behind him, and we're going to go through this window where we can steal a guard's uniform. Once we're disguised as the guard... We can pretty much run through this whole house, and no one will give a gosh darn about it. So, we're going to go up each floor one at a time, completing objectives now. First floor, we're going to equip chloroform. We're going to knock this guy out. Tap, tap, tap. He's unconscious now. And we're going to take the boss's key. Pick up his body, and we'll hide it inside the boss's office using the key that we just picked up. Throw his body gently onto a coffee table. Into the next room, where we'll move a painting out of the way, and pick a safe. Come on, there we go. It's only a two-ring safe, so it should be fairly easy for us. There we go. And we steal the microfilm out of it. And now we're finished with this floor, and we can work up to the second, well, the third floor of the building. Right now we're on huh? the second floor. So, heading up to the Get third floor. I'm the one who's gonna get chewed out if the boss doesn't get his food. Sprint past everybody. Huh? We'll run right past these guards and close the door behind us. And now we will strangle this bad man to death. Once he's dead, we'll have an objective completed, and we just have to leave a calling card on the painting, which is an additional objective. Close right. this door on our way out, and make a mad dash back downstairs. Huh? Once you get all the way downstairs, we want to go right back outside from the window the way that we came, and work our way around to the front of the house, where we have our third and final objective, which huh? is to assassinate another guy. That is basically walking around in a speedo with 300 guards protecting him. He's like Leonidas on holiday. It's pretty intense. If you're saving your progress, I would say save it right here. Alright, now that our progress is saved, we're going to work our way into the front of the house. There's a bar at the front here, and what we need is the bartender's clothing. There's a bunch of guards in here that you can see, and we don't want to alert them. So what we're going to want to do is probably sneak this bartender into the other room. What's the matter now? We'll whistle to get him over here. Once he comes in the room, see if we can't get him to come a little bit more. Come on. Get in here. Get in here, you bugger. Alright, now let's knock him out and work very quickly here we can hear another guard is outside so let's go ahead and move the body out of the way while we can close the door and now we'll take the bartender's clothing there we go and now let's hide the body in this dresser we don't want anybody blowing our cover by finding his body all right now that's completed we just have to get a couple guards out of this front room there's going to be guards in that room, and we don't want them looking at us. Oh, what's the matter now? So, while we're whistled over there, we'll run back around to the bar side. There goes that guard, 
and now we can poison this drink. The guy across the way will see us a little bit, but if we pour it fast enough, we should be okay. There we go. Now we just have to grab the tray, grab our bottle, and now we can just bring this poisoned wine right out the front door to the final guy we have to assassinate. And this way, it's uh, kind of a Trojan horse attack. They see us coming, there's nothing threatening about us, they have all of these guards here that can't do anything because we're just a waiter doing our job. Now we're going to poison the wine, or pour the poisoned wine into the glass there, and now we're going to walk away. Because usually right after the wine is poured, that guy gets right out of the hot tub to go get some. What we're going to want to do is get right up here. Once we get to the corner, we're going to throw the tray on the ground so that we can start running. And this is, of course, because we're doing a speed run. So now that he's probably drinking the wine behind us, we just have to work our way right up this hill. want to make sure that we do not cross this grass line before he's dead. We'll just wait for the sign that he's been poisoned. There we go. Now he's dead, and all we have to do is leave. Ta-da! And that is level 6 in 10 minutes and 1 second Wolfhound Raiding. That's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, speedrun walkthrough. I am Bane with GameHolio.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.